our project, Women of Color Prior Learning Assessment, is based on a 2010 study done by uh, Rebecca Klein Collins and Richard Olson, Fueling the Race to Success. That's found that students who do prior learning assessments are two and a half times more likely to graduate. When you start to unpack that data and you look at the graduation rates for students of color, for African American students, the graduation rate increases fourfold. For Latina students, it increases eightfold. Then when you look at it in terms of gender, a woman who gets one to six uh, credits in prior learning assessment will graduate more quickly than her male counterpart getting the same amount of credit. So that seemed very important to us and we decided, well, let's see what we could do to improve the uptake rate for um, women of color. So we designed uh, four workshops to help women of color not only um, identify their learning, value their learning, but identify what they bring with them to the institution. So Lynn, I'm, I'm wondering if you can tell me, do you remember a particular moment early on when the light bulb went off and you said to yourself, oh, that thing that's part of my life counts. I think when I was talking to my sons about the importance of their college education and how they couldn't be successful without it, and them saying, you know, saying to me, but mom, you are successful, you run a school, you run a business, and to be told on days that I wasn't there, the business wasn't running properly, or to be told by parents, oh my God, we're so glad you're back because you know we couldn't get a bill or we couldn't get a statement or no one knew how to get the payroll done. That's when I knew, okay, but being told by an employee who said I wasn't needed and I wasn't relied on, I came to realize that it flipped on me and I realized that's what I had been told to keep me in my place, to keep me from aspiring to do the things that I knew that I was doing or I could do. So. The light bulb for me was when we were doing the interviews in Women of Color PLA and Francis said to me, that's your navigational capital. And then I would go to, because we would do these round tables where you would interview with one mentor and then you would go to another table. Then I went to another table and she said, well, what do you hope to do with your college degree? And I said, I hope to be, to, to pay it forward, to go continue with doing what I love to do, but to come back to other women with like circumstances and inspire them and encourage them and support them to also getting their college degrees and, and to be better, always to be better today than I was yesterday. So that's your aspirational capital. And I went, oh, okay. So I have aspirational <laughs> capital also. And then go to the next table. And, and then I was like, you know, I couldn't wait to get to the next table at that point. And I was like, okay, let me go. Because every table I went to, I walked away with like one or two prior learning assessments. And then to go home and to be able to put it into four or five page papers to submit that essay and to have it recognized as learning. You know, it, I was scared off a lot of times from coming back to school because I felt after I graduated high school and started college and decided I wanted to get married and have a family, I had missed the window to come back and get my college education. And the light bulb was, it's never too late. And that's what I tell women who ask me. And I